The Asteroid 2004 FG-11. The last impact of an extinction level object that is 6 miles more in diameter was an astounding 66 million years ago. Though we have had millions of notable smaller asteroids and airburst events that have been visible to us Earthlings. Our curiosity with these events has inspired Hollywood movies and science fiction novels dedicated to the possibility that an asteroid could hit our planet and bring our civilization to its knees in ways we cannot yet imagine. The fact of the matter is that we are long overdue for such an impact, and if we were to detect an asteroid today or tomorrow that was headed our way, then we'd better have some sort of counteraction plan in place. Atomic weaponry would be our weapon of choice. No other weapon in man's arsenal can rip through the very fabric of materials that make up this improbable space-dwelling object, but that is where we can stay rest assured. These weapons can be assumed as a last resort to save the Earth, and indeed, thanks to modern advancements and human understandings of the orbital influences of these things, we can look at cost-effective and gentler measures to send these things safely away from our world. In 500 million years, the Earth has had five massive events that are accepted by physicists the world over to have ended the life of over half of the planet's life forms. The most notable of these five events was the Primean Triassic Worldwide Extinction Event, which is thought to have wiped out an eye-whopping 90% of all this planet's life. This happened 250 million years ago, and it took life forms on Earth a further 30 million years to recover from this extinction event. The craters from these impacts are visible, and theories are drawn up based on the size and severity the impact craters suggest would have happened. By no means at all are these theories scientific fact. Experts point to the presence of iridium on these locations that are not naturally occurring on this planet, suggesting it was brought here on large space-traveling objects like asteroids. As we say, this type of impact is now overdue. The Apophis approach may put that right, and we will know more about the asteroid Apophis as the 2029 close approach unfolds. And the Recalculation based on Earth's gravitational influence and the object's perihelion of the Sun could alter it for an impact with the Earth in 2036. This isn't out of the realms of possibility, and we have been monitoring these developments now for almost 20 years. The threat is real, and to explain why we are not being told, simply look at the hysteria caused by the current health infection. Some of us panic by design. There are good reasons for withholding this information in a population setting. Of course, this is the perfect time just now to get out into your garden and have a gander at the sky. Fireballs are being reported all across the Western Hemisphere at the moment. And this month is a busy month for these entering our atmosphere and creating a bit of wonder in the imagination of the observer. Tracking down asteroids is a fun thing to do in and of itself, but it also can be a stepping stone to doing science in one valuable way by entering the fascinating world of astronomy. This is the measurement of the motions and positions of celestial bodies in the sky, allowing, for example, the determination of orbits and newly discovered asteroids, including those that are potentially hazardous to Earth. The asteroid 2004 FG11 is currently one such object that is being monitored and constantly tracked. The asteroid that is as big as the Empire State Building, traveling through space at 55,000 miles per hour. This Apollo asteroid, classified an Apollo asteroid because it crosses Earth's path as it orbits the Sun, this means it could impact at some point in the distant future as the orbit widens down, but on this occasion, it will pass within 4.6 million miles from our atmosphere. Based on its size and speed, if it did hit our planet, the crater would be four miles wide, evaporating everything in sight. If it hit the ocean, it would cause tsunamis, but it isn't going to hit on this occasion. Goldstone radar observations planned for the object on this close approach on April 11th are as follows. 2004 FG11 will be a weak target for both Arcebo and Goldstone observations due to both observatories running at half power due to Klystron's problems. If detectable at all, 2004 FG11 will be CW-only target at Goldstone, but 
Arcebo may be able to obtain some course delay Doppler images with the Minor Planet Center classifying the asteroid as a potentially hazardous asteroid. If it hit the ocean, then it would generate massive short-lasting effects. If it hits land, however, then it is a city killer. One day we'll be faced with a threat that is beyond our control. How exactly would it be told, if at all? What do you guys think about this? Comments below and thanks for watching guys.